so again starting with the drag I'm trying to do the drag um, two things that are going to hand in hand here is uh, uh, trying to make myself get right at the gates which is kind of hard not to do but um, I feel like if I was just a tiny bit deeper it's, it might be a little bit easier to drag but I feel I'm still good but I'm like uh, I'm right there this is beach you can see the foot's kind of trying to come normal on the outside and I'm just kind of just kind of whiffing on it, just missing it a little bit. I don't really think that's going to be the best strategy for the drag. Uh, for the simplicity, that's going to if, it, if you're hitting pretty hard, it's going to really torque your knee the wrong way. So I'm going to try to I'm going to start trying to avoid that. The technique that I'm going to start um, is with the uh, feet kind of out in front. And uh, you, you can't see it here, but the right leg is kind of is dropped underneath, and I'm trying to just use the uh, the right side of my right foot. Uh, so if the knee hits, it's actually you know the knee's going to be going. Not if the knee hits, if the foot hits too hard, it's going the right way, and kind of basically you're kicking yourself in the butt. But I'm just kind of whiffing on it. I I feel like I'm right there. I feel like I'm right there. I mean, my my hips are about. the top of this, this buoy and I'm a little little nervous just about the dirt there's water I don't know if it'd be the same if it was water I'm sure the good learning curves there too but I just that, that little bit of extension I just need that little bit of extension so the end of this chump is uh, very revealing yeah, I thought I'm just doing a 180 here because we have traffic and uh, started high, so you know I'm just doing doing bad habits, you know, bad things to uh, to bleed that altitude. But I want to practice that drag. So instead of reverting to dropping this foot down, I I revert to this, not really thinking. But I was able to get the drag and kind of like, you know keep my foot going. So it. it one, it, it tells me that granted there's not as much speed going here, but it tells me that it's really not that big of a deal if my feet, my foot's catching. It may even go really fast, it's gonna catapult me up forward, but I think that's just what would happen with a bad drag in general. Now we're gonna see some of the problems we encounter. While trying to drag, trying to not hit the gates. Uh, so being, trying to be so accurate hitting the gates, trying to be a little bit deeper and hit the gates. Uh, and a lot of times when this happens, I end up rolling out high. And uh, we're not gonna see much of it here. But uh, the recovery arc's a little bit longer, and when, when you're letting the canopy dive a lot, it's like dive, 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 and then we're like, okay, let's do something to get it to start recovering, start playing on the rears with the small amount of leaning back, uh, reaching for the ground, and you're getting a lot of this pop up. Very frustrating. There's a lot of jumps where this happened. We can compare it to when the recovery arc's looking a little bit better. This is one of the earlier ones of the day. I got a three second recovery, just kind of driving right through the gates. Ends up staying down much better compared to a uh, little bit of a longer recovery. Let's watch this 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4. It's like a three and a half. Uh, nice thing was, I think I put my foot. No, still kind of out to the side, trying to bring it down underneath. Man, this is tough. This is a lot of jumps like this, lots of frustration.